dirt! So I find it very unfortunate that there is still a lot of beauty in the world. There are beautiful places in the world. I live in the Pacific Northwest. We've got rivers and streams and forests and mountains and volcanoes, snow-capped peaks, dense forests. Very beautiful, but unfortunately, people are blind to most of it because they're too busy being worked up about the news of the day and what their influence what their influencers, depending on who they listen to, have told them about. So instead of appreciating, stopping to smell the roses, so to speak, we go, we are so focused in our minds, we are stuck in our minds, dwelling on these negative thoughts. Those fucking liberals, they wanna take my guns. They want to tax me! Or on the flip side, ah, those fucking conservatives, they hire a reality show hack like Trump, who's probably the most disgusting human being I've ever met. Yet they praise him like he's some kind of god, because for some reason they must love disgusting human beings who lie a lot. So we are so stuck in the negative thoughts that have been embedded in our minds over and over and over again. Every time we go on our news feed or we go to Facebook in our feed to the right or YouTube, it's something hyper-partisan, left, right, conspiracy theory, blah, 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 blah. And we are stuck in this shit. And I tell you, it's a trap, and I'm stuck in it, and I don't want to be there. And I don't want to be there, and I doubt, in a way, you guys don't want to either. And I once talked to somebody who was very opinionated and caught in this conspiracy nonsense, and this person said, well, it's just really fascinating to watch. I want to witness it, because it's happening, and I want to be a witness to history. And I said, yeah, but witnessing this stuff is really making you angry all day. And in fact, I've got several people who have caught it, caught up in this. They are so worked up. They are so pissed off. They go through life angry all day. I said, you might have 30, 40 years left in your life, and are you going to spend it being worked up and angry because of some hyper-partisan thought influencer who gets all of their money off sponsorship whose intention is to get you angry so you'll come back and watch more and watch more and read more to keep you fired up, to keep you in this state of mind to where you can't even enjoy the sunshine and the air and nature and anything. What are your hobbies? Oh, you don't have any? Oh, you watch a lot of Fox News, I see. Or, oh, you watch MSNBC all day long, I see. People, turn the shit off. Find some hobbies. Detox. We need to, this stuff is toxic. The toxicity of our city, of our city. We need to detoxify people. Turn the shit off. Walk away from your phone. Walk away from your TV. Flip your radio station to music and not talk. Find a hobby. Find an interest. Learn something. Learn something new. Maybe learn a language or, you know, something. Um, you know, life is short and then you're gonna die. So are you gonna go through it angry, bitter, pissed off we feel that we're armed if we got an opinion i got an opinion so that means i'm armed with information and and it bothers me because the other side's trying to ruin my life in the world so i'm gonna speak up every chance i get 
You are a brainwashed, indoctrinated soldier. That's what you are. You're a soldier that's been brainwashed and indoctrinated. Just like when you sign up for the military and they shave your head and take your identity away and give you a uniform so you look like everyone else. So you all say the same things, talk the same way, convince you that the enemy's bad. The enemy's bad, go shoot them. You're justified in killing an enemy that's bad. You can kill them because they are bad. We're giving you that allowance. Here's your gun. Make sure you have plenty of ammunition. Now go out there and put some notches in your gun stock. fucked up man the world is doomed we are fucked up we are fucked up strike you down